Oh, hi. Hi. Can I help you? Can I help you? What can I help you with? <gasps> Would you like a makeover? Oh, let me get your cheeks. Oh, what a pretty girl. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay, you're done. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing some products from Kaja. Now I ordered their under eye brightener in the shade peach. I believe this is the only shade that it comes in. I also ordered their flexible and seamless concealer as well as their brightening under eye setting powder. Now the under eye brightener is a peach tone brightener that's going to help make us look a little bit more awake. It's going to help color correct the darkness underneath the eyes. You can use it by itself or you can use it under or over your concealer in order to get like that instant brightening effect. It retails for 19 US dollars and it is a vegan formula. Their concealer retails for 16 US dollars and you can find it in 12 different shades. I grabbed the shade Sweet Toast 07 to try out today. It is listed under medium coverage, but it is intended to be a light to medium coverage concealer. So you're never going to get full coverage with this. The more you're going to get is medium coverage by building it up a little bit. It is for all skin types with a natural finish. It is also vegan and cruelty free. Last but not least, the brightening setting powder. It retails for 18 US dollars and you can find it in two different shades, a pink tone for light to medium complexions and this banana tone for medium to deep complexions. It is a natural finish formula that has brightening powders that are going to reflect light in order to brighten the under eye area. It also contains silky ultra transparent powders that are going to give us a nice smooth look. You can use it alone or you can use it on top of your concealer in order to brighten up the under eye area or just kind of all over the face. It's nice and portable because it comes with its own little brush. So you can just put this in your purse and you're good to go just in case you need to touch up throughout the day. So let's get this going. This is their Catnap Under Eye Brightener. Um, like I said, it only comes in the one shade, which is peach. I'm gonna wear this underneath the concealer over on this side. And since the concealer is not meant to be full coverage, it's light to medium coverage, I'm going to wear it with my Bobbi Brown corrector over on this side. That way we can help it out and see if we can make this more of a full coverage concealer. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this corrector underneath the right side. And I think I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger. All right, so there it is. Definitely helped brighten the under eye area. This shade reminds me of the Becca under eye brightening corrector, but their lighter shade, their light to medium shade. That's what this one looks like. I can't see myself wearing this by itself just because it's not meant for my complexion, but it did help brighten up. Feels very lightweight and comfortable. Now let me apply a little bit of my Bobbi Brown corrector in the shade Peach underneath this eye. All right, next, let me apply foundation and I will be right back. All right, I am back, foundation is on. Now we can move on to the concealer. Um, this one, like I said, is in Sweet Toast, which is their shade number seven. They don't have very many to choose from. And I tried my best to match myself. Oh yeah, okay. That's what that looks like. I think, I think this should work. This should definitely work. All right, so I'm gonna start off a little lighter. It's quite liquidy. It's not very thick at all. I don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to blend it out with my deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques. All right, so far the shade is really nice. I like the shade. It's concealing really well for it being like light to medium coverage. This is concealing really well. All right, and I think I am gonna add just a little bit more right there. So just right here. All right, that side is done. Looks like skin, looks very hydrated and it looks really good. 
All right, let's move on to the left side with the Bobbi Brown corrector underneath. All right, so blended, looks good, let's set it. All right, so I think you take the brush and just maybe swirl it. I'm gonna shake some of that off though. I think I may have grabbed too much. All right, let's see. I mean, it's working. I don't know how much I like this brush though. It's like really dense and I like something a little bit softer for the under eye area. All right, so I'm gonna take my soft blend brush. This is the number 40 from Sigma Beauty. And that way I can get in here a little bit and use this brush to set the under eye. Oh yeah. Let me use this along the T-zone as well. All right, so there it is, it is set. It does look pretty smooth. As far as coverage, not, of course, not that great, but I, you know, it was stated in the description, light to medium coverage. Um, so that holds true, absolutely. Um, I believe this is a Korean brand, and from what I know about Korean beauty is that less is more. Subtlety is always like, the main focus. Um, so I, I didn't expect, you know, anything other than nice, soft, subtle coverage, um, which is okay. It looks good though. It looks good. It, it does, like I said, look smooth. Um, and yeah, so far so good. Let me zoom you guys in so that you can get a better look underneath the eyes after initial application. All right. So here it is not full coverage, of course, but it does look nice underneath the eyes. All right, so let me finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back, ready to go. So far, the concealer looks good. The only thing is that I'm not sure how much brightening the setting powder did, if any. Um, I think it looks a little bit darker underneath my eyes. Not dark circle darker, but like, Concealer's too dark, darker, does that make sense? It's just, I, I thought that even if I had a concealer that was a little bit too dark, the brightening powder would, would help it because it would help brighten the under eye area with this nice like banana color. Um, but I don't, I don't know if it necessarily did. Anyway, we'll see how the concealer wears. It is currently at 12, 11 in the afternoon. I do plan on wearing this all day long. And of course I will be coming back halfway through the day to show you what the under eye area looks like in natural lighting. So I'll be back in about four hours for my midday check-in. Okay, so I'm back for my midday check-in. It is currently 4.09, which means I've had this on for a good four hours. I feel like I lost coverage, right? I think I did, um, especially over here on the side that I color corrected with the, um, what do I have on my chin? Oh, it's lipstick. <laughs> on the side that I color corrected with the Bobbi Brown um, corrector, I don't know, I feel, or I guess, I guess both sides. Other than that, I haven't noticed anything else. It hasn't settled. It doesn't look excessively dry to me on either side. Um, and it's still feeling pretty, pretty comfortable. So we'll see how we finish off the day. I'm gonna give it about another three and a half hours, maybe four and call it done. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a few more hours for my final check-in. All right, so I'm back for my final check-in. It is currently 7.53. So I've had this on all day long. I'm ready to call it a night. And before going into what I think about the products, I'm going to zoom you guys in one last time so that you can get an up close look underneath the eyes after what, eight hours of wear? Yeah, I think it's about eight hours. All right, so here's the under eye area. I lost coverage, definitely lost some coverage throughout the day. I feel like the side that I color corrected with the Kaja corrector looks a little bit smoother, but yeah, definitely lost coverage. All right, so now that the close up is out of the way, let's go over each one of the products. Let's start off with the Catnap Under Eye Brightener. It's a nice corrector, but not the shade for me. Not the shade for me. Um, it is nice and peachy, but it is really light, so I would never be able to wear this by itself, like it suggests. You know, this can go 
under your concealer, over your concealer, or you can wear it on its own. For me, if I use it, it's always gonna be under my concealer. I feel like this is definitely more so for someone with a lighter complexion, like light to light medium. Um, and then at that point, perhaps you can get away with just wearing the corrector on its own and not necessarily adding the concealer on top of it, but it also has a lot to do with whether or not you, you have a lot of darkness going on. Because if you have a lot of darkness going on underneath the eyes, you're definitely gonna wanna pair this with a concealer. As for me, I will, I'll give it another go with other concealers and see how well it wears underneath them. I feel like it did help keep the concealer on this side really nice and smooth. I lost coverage, so I don't know about how long lasting this is, but it does look nice and smooth. Granted, it's not my shade for correcting, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's a nice corrector. I wish they had at least like another, like a deeper option. Next. The concealer. I feel like the concealer shade was just a tad bit too deep for my under eye area once it dried down, or at least that's kind of how I saw it, especially once I set it. But it wears well on top of the corrector that it's meant to be paired with, um, but you do lose coverage. I feel like, yeah, I lost a lot of coverage throughout the day. I feel like in the morning I had pretty good coverage going, especially considering that this is a light to medium coverage concealer. Um, I feel like it did a lot more than just medium, but that was at the beginning of the day. And as the day progressed, I did see the coverage kind of lessen a little bit. So is it long lasting? No. For short periods of time, yes. And paired with the corrector that it's meant to go with, it looks, it looks okay, it looks pretty good. And when I say it looks pretty good, I mean it doesn't look dry, it didn't break up, it didn't move around, it didn't really settle underneath or in between my fine lines. That's what I mean when I say it looks good because is it concealing? Not, not much, not anymore. <laughs> Last but not least, the brightening under eye setting powder. I, okay. It doesn't brighten, or at least I didn't think that it did underneath my eyes. It did help set the eye, but or the under eye, but it, it just didn't brighten it for me, at least not in my opinion. Um, as far as the brush that it comes with, not a huge fan of it because it is quite dense. And so when you're going and setting your concealer and your um, corrector. I just feel like it could move things around because it is so dense and stiff. I personally like something a lot fluffier, a lot softer, something that I could just swirl in powder and then just kind of glide underneath the eye so that it doesn't disrupt the concealer and the um, corrector that I just placed. So the brush, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, the powder is not brightening, but it is a nice setting powder. It, I feel like it looks pretty smooth over here. One thing that I did notice is that you don't you don't get a lot. You don't get a lot of product. What is this? You get 0.09 ounces worth of product. This little circle that's all the way at the bottom of this little cylinder, um, it reminds me of like the Makeup Geek individual eyeshadows. Do you guys remember those? I, I don't know. I, I haven't I haven't used those. In, I don't even know if I have anymore. But the individual little pot things. Um, yeah, that's what this reminds me of. Like the size is the same. I'm assuming that the amount of product perhaps is somewhat the same. So don't really see this lasting a whole lot and it doesn't really brighten, but it, yeah, it's an, it's a nice setting powder. You just, you don't get a whole lot of it. <laughs> so in conclusion, the beginning of the day, I really liked it. I thought that it did an amazing, all three products looked really nice underneath the eyes and for a Korean brand, which tends to be more on the natural beauty, very light makeup side, this actually concealed my dark circles really well, better than I expected, but the coverage just didn't last. So is it a nice concealer, corrector, brightening, setting powder? Um, sure, but don't expect for it to last. You know, it's not gonna last you all day. <laughs> So that completes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.